Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you along for my first honey harvest from the original four bee swarms that I captured this spring. My two objectives are simple. First and foremost, I want to collect some honey for my family without taking too much honey from these first year hives. And number two, I want to learn the process of collecting honey from these top bar hives in a do-it-yourself manner that works for me. So a little bit of it is going to be an experiment. The actual honey harvest is going to be quite small as I plan on taking only one single comb from each of my top two producing hives out of the four total that I have. The comb I'm selecting here was actually connected to two top bars and had the beginnings of two other little combs on the opposite side of it. It's a combination of capped honey and unfilled cells and probably wasn't the perfect one to pick but at this point the bees were a bit angry and I figured I would just trudge through and just <laughs> go forth with harvesting this one. I'm just cutting off the comb in little chunks and trying to get as few bees in there as possible. For my straining setup, I'm using a simple two bucket stacked system. These are two gallon food grade buckets, and in the lid of the lower bucket, I've simply drilled a hole and placed a fine mesh strainer in that hole. And for the upper bucket, I've simply drilled some quarter inch holes in a small pattern that will sit directly above the mesh strainer that's on the lower bucket lid. And here comes the somewhat messy part getting the harvested comb into the top bucket without getting a ton of bees. I think I did an okay job, but there were still a few bees that ended up getting in the mix. Once the top bucket was filled with pieces of comb, all that was left to do is just cut it with a knife and let it strain. And try my best to keep any more bees from getting in there. After the lid was on, I set it on a rock wall in the sun and placed a black bucket on top of the top bucket just to let the honey flow a little bit more evenly. Once all the honey had strained into the bottom bucket, now it was time to harvest and put it into jars. My original plan was to use this tea strainer that my wife had to strain the honey, but as you'll see in just a second, it turned out to be extremely slow. The blue mat is actually a heating mat that I put the bucket on just to uh, make the honey a little bit warmer. You'll see it there, it's dripping, but it's taking a really, really long time. So the next plan of attack was to use a coarser strainer and this turned out to be much more effective letting the honey flow and it looked just as clear as the honey that was going through the original strainer. And then for a little added authenticity we decided to use a piece of the unfilled comb and add to our small gift jars that we were filling. And there's a final shot of our total harvest. As always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.